What are you doing, Alvin? Figured I'd stay away, since everyone's so sick of me. Maybe because you're a big fat liar. Yeah, that's just who I am, all right. And what about you, Elise? Wondering what to do? Yeah. I just don't know what the right choice is. Well, you're talking to the wrong guy. I don't know much about being a kid. Never really had a childhood. So were you a member of Exodus ever since you were just a little boy? Yeah, that's right. I thought it was okay to trick people. When things would go bad, I'd just disappear. I'd take the path of least resistance. I pretty much just did whatever didn't hurt me, that's all. Then, does that mean you won't be going with Mila and Jude? You know what? That kid forces me to wake up and smell reality. They're all just so mature, the way they hide their real feelings about me. Oh, now I get it. You're lonely, aren't you, Alvin? I've never been much for expressing my feelings, I suppose. But even if they do hate me, I have to stick it out. I'm not leaving this time. So does that mean that you really want to be their friend again? I've learned that building real trust with people takes a lot more work than you think. Being a grown-up sounds like an awful lot of pain. It seems like the older you get, the tougher it is to share your feelings with others. Anyway, no one will want to be friends with me until I can make the first move. It's hard, but it sure beats being alone. I wonder what I'm supposed to do now. What do I have to do to become happy? Well, it's different for everyone. You just have to find what works for you. I'm sure you know what you want by now. I guess so. It hasn't been easy, but I've learned a lot traveling with everybody. I know that. I definitely don't want to stop, that's for sure. I want to keep on learning more, and I want to make some new friends. Yeah. That sounds pretty good to me. Some help you are. I told you. I'm the wrong guy to ask about this stuff. Sorry about that, kid. Huh? That's a thank you. I just wanted you to know that from now on, I'm gonna be your friend, okay? How come the kids are the wisest people in this group? Trouble sleeping, young miss? Yeah, I still haven't made up my mind. What about you? I've reached a decision. I have decided to go with them. I see. I wonder if I'm the only one who's still on the fence. You're not alone. Huh? 
When Lord Klein passed away, I inherited the keys to the kingdom, along with many doubts. But eventually you figured out what to do, right? I used to think that everything works out if you do your best, but I've been proven wrong every time. Does Agria still haunt you? I keep thinking, there might have been something else I could have done for her. I know that feeling well. Oh, you mean with King Noctigal? <laughs> Am I that easy to read? Let me tell you, life does not become any simpler the older you get. But I must say, I am a bit surprised by you. In what way? I was under the impression that Jude was the one who occupied your every waking thought. Uh, come on now, don't be silly! Is it obvious? Yes, I'm afraid it is. You know, I once thought that if I became a nurse, that I might find happiness. After all, when Jude's happy, I'm happy. Simple enough, right? But now, I'm starting to get the feeling that Jude just might be better off without me. I mean, I don't want to get in his way again, you know? Leah, would you like to know what my reasons are and why I've decided to go along with Jude and Mila? Are you willing to tell me? I would like to be there to walk with them, in the future that they wish to create. <laughs> that sounds like you. But that's not all. Huh? I plan to take the lead and pull the two of them along behind me. That is my true desire. And I? What do I really want? I think you already know your answer, miss. What I really want is to see Jude's smiling face again. I suppose that's it. That's a good reason, isn't it? Don't you want to sit? You've changed. Not really. To be honest, I'm so scared I can't even sleep. I told you before, if we can just dispel the schism, I'll handle everything from there. There's no reason for you to be afraid. Mila! If the schism disappears, so will the temporal crossroads, right? Yes. The destruction of the schism means the death of Maxwell. The temporal crossroads were born from Maxwell and that unique spirit climb, so they will vanish too. Why? Why didn't I realize what's happened to you? Hmm? I know. You never told me because... because you wanted me to find my own answer first. Isn't that right? just easier for me that way. Huh? The entity known as Maxwell 
is essential for the spirits. So they will need a new Maxwell. Then we won't be able to stay together anymore? The sadness of parting is a human emotion. Such emotions no longer apply to me. And there's no other way, is there? Maxwell created me, so perhaps he could restore my human body. Jude, is that what you really want? Let's create a new future for all the spirits and people in the world. And let's create it together. Together. Thanks. Gaius! Is Muse with you? Just relax. I've come here to tell you something, and that's all. Then talk. We are ready to commence our operation to wipe out every Spyrex in Olympias. So your attack from before was just to check whether Spyrites were usable? Exactly. You came here to tell us that? No. Listen. You have a dream for the future of the world that is vastly different from mine. So... You plan to fight us here? This is a piece of Muse's power. The power to slice through space? What of it? Here, I give you a chance to return to Reza Maxia quietly if you choose to. Hmm. You'd still offer us a chance to end things peacefully. Gaius, you know full well that we can't walk the same path. Not anymore. So you say. But I wonder if Mila agrees with that. Why should I? What makes you think I've wavered? One can only handle so much. Take Muse, for example. What about her? She is very torn. She has incredible power, yet she knows not how to use it. In hindsight, I was cruel to force such a weak person to become strong so suddenly. You want to save her too, don't you? Along with the rest of my people. Stand down, and I will take over. Your words cannot shake my will, nor can they alter my mission. It remains unchanged, even after all this time. I see. Jude. Hmm? Our choices matter. They're meaningful for precisely that reason, because they're our choices. Following the will of others will lead nowhere. That's why our choice right now is more important than our own survival. So Jude, please. Watch over me so that I stay on my path until the very end. Yes. I promise. Sleep well? Yes. That might have been the best sleep I've had in my entire life.
I decided I'm coming with you. I won't bore you with my reasons, though. Thanks, Leia. Let's do our best. Yep. I'm coming, too. And me, three! I shall accompany you as well. Wouldn't do for the only Olympian here to sit this one out. So you've made up your minds. Then there's something we need to tell you. Check this out. Nifty knife. Gaius brought this to us last night. He called it a piece of Muse's power. Does that mean we could use it to tear open the breach? Looks like it. Gaius truly is inscrutable. He's mocking us. I don't think so. We might be fighting against one another, but he's a good guy. Nice to see you're actually talking to me. Uh, well... I appreciate it. Thanks. You're welcome. It's a bummer there's nobody here to send off the heroes! That shouldn't be a problem. We'll just have to accept that we're unsung heroes. Who needs an adoring crowd? Let's have a pre-battle cheer! If you insist... Couldn't hurt. Make sure to put some feeling into it! Indeed. Here goes nothing. Everyone, let's finish what we started! Yeah! Yeah! Muse seems to have fallen completely under Gaius's control. I'd say it's more that Muse has finally found someone she can rely on. She had been yearning for someone to guide her. That girl has some big time dependency issues. She's like my own dark shadow. I wish we could have met under different circumstances. Whatever the nature of their relationship, Muse's ability to manipulate dimensional space is now in Gaius's hands. That is no trivial matter. Agreed. Even the Great Spirits are no match for a blade that can sever dimensional barriers. That doesn't sound promising. Should we turn tail and run away? Yes, let's do that. <laughs> do you really think I would say such a thing? Of no course way. not. You know me well. Nun denn, da sind wir mal wieder, oder auch nicht? Oh yeah, snag something good. Is it really okay to steal like that? Of course it is! We won that battle fair and square! Yikes. So, might makes right, huh? Does that mean if we lose, the enemy might take something of ours? Yep. If we were to lose... The enemies could have Tipo. What?! You can't take Tipo without my permission! Well, let them have your hairband! Hey, that's off limits! I had to save up my allowance for weeks to buy this. It's my number one favorite. But I'm everyone's number one favorite! Fine, fine. If we lose, we'll just have to sacrifice... Alvin's coat. The hell you will! I love this thing! Okay. Ja, da sind wir wieder. <coughs> Haben ja einiges jetzt wieder vorgesetzt bekommen. Und ich finde Gaius an sich eigentlich ziemlich cool. Nur, um wirklich der, ja, imposanteste zu sein, müsste er für mich eine Nummer äh, flexibler denken können. Ich meine, äh, das mit den Spy Rides ist doch eine super Idee. Und wenn man ihm das richtig erklären würde, dann müsste das doch funktionieren können, oder nicht? Naja, das ist halt, wenn... Ideale und Gedanken im Konflikt zueinander stehen. Tja, 
Da kann man nicht viel dran ändern und können wir jetzt mit diesem Messer hin und her springen zwischen den Welten. Jude, you're up. Yes. We can probably return to Riza Maxia from the temporal crossroads. Alvin has a point. We cannot expect help from anyone. In other words, we must be fully prepared. Right. We gotta think these things through. We're on our own after all. Good point. I'm sorry I dragged everyone down. Schauen wir mal. Dann gehen wir nämlich definitiv mal nach Riese Maxia zurück. Well, looks like we're up. <laughs> What? Hey, nice of you to join us. Either we ended up in a different place from last time, or it got a major remodel. Gaius must have used Maxwell's power to alter things here. Where's Leia? Where'd you go? I found another breach like the one we came through. Don't tell me you went in it. I did. It leads to Riza Maxia, so that's the wrong way. Then Gaius and Muse must be that way. This presents a dilemma. I assumed we would just be following the same path as last time. At your age, Rowan, never assume things will be easy. <laughs> well said. We have other dangers to contend with besides Gaius and Muse. Better keep our guard up. Let's go, everyone. Okay, wir sind also hier in der Weltenkreuzung. Da ist der Dimensionsriss. Äh. Äh? Ah. Ah, okay, 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 I understand. So, und darunter geht's also zu Muse und Gaius und so weiter. Also hier lang. Oh, hey, okay, hier sind jetzt immer Gegner. Also hier sind Gegner, die den Weg versperren. Naja. Ähm, hm. Ich muss sagen, das, also es sieht so aus, als würde das Spiel seinem Höhepunkt entgegengehen. Wir haben immerhin schon 50, 54 Stunden. Ähm. Ja, was haben wir da hinten noch? Da ist also ein bisschen was. Wir schauen uns mal noch das Skit an. Obwohl, was haben wir denn hier? Uh, okay, der leere Thron. Guys has been busy keeping order in Rashagal ever since Noctagal died. I wonder what's going on back at his old castle in Canbalar. Okay, das hat ein, das führt anscheinend zu einer weiteren Nebenquest. So, wir speichern hier, wie gesagt, nochmal. Jetzt haben wir ja noch eine Truhe aufgemacht und das Skit geschaut. 
So, und ja, wir könnten anscheinend schon zum finalen Kampf, aber erstmal, oh, das, das geht das auch noch da, okay. Noch ein paar Nebenquests. Shop-Upgrades. Ja. Und die Teufelsbestien, definitiv. Das steht alles noch an. Aber davon mehr in der nächsten Folge. Macht's gut, Leute. Ich bin raus. Ciao.